All right. Ooh. Ooh. He made it to the big slide. He's been talking about the big slide. So this is his big slide. <laughs> There's my son. There's my son. He. Good job, bud. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. I, I'm having a hard time looking at the camera, but for some reason my eyes are watering. So, I think it's the sunlight. I'm allergic to the sun, oh. So, I hope everyone is having a really good day, um, whatever time it is that you're watching this. I decided to take Callum to Choo Choo Park because we haven't been here all week. And we've been doing a lot of vineyard walking this week. But Callum really loves this playground and I just felt like, you know, we can walk here and it's a little far away compared to the vineyards for us, but then he just face planted. The weather is really nice today, so I figured we'd have time to walk here and not worry about the rain. It's French week at the bakery, so that's something that Callum picked out. He said it was a house. Callum just corrected me and told me it was a castle, so. <laughs> I think he just picked this out because he wanted the little flag, but I have no idea what this is. I guess it's bread. Okay, that's not very exciting. It's just bread. Say hi, Linnea. Oh, hi, Linnea. Not, not in the face, baby. Hi, Linnea. I'm going to go slide with brother for just a minute, okay, and then I'll come back and hang out with you. Yeah, you're happy to be at the park? Are you happy to be at the playground? Yes, baby girl. You yeah. Are you happy to be at the playground? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Go. 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 Whee! All right, we're back home, and I just got Linnea dressed for the day. So she was wearing her little onesie and little leggings and now I put her in this little cute little dress. It's actually a little onesie, onesie dress combination. It's all one piece and she got this as a gift. So she's just gonna wear it and I put it with a little blue bow, little blue bow. <laughs> her little round head, yeah. Hi, you like playing with your little clown? Mm hmm? 
<laughs> Your bow's kind of laying funny. There we go. Hi, Linnea. Her head's still just a tad bit small for a lot of these little bows, but oh well. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. She loves her little clown friend. Loves them. And the little legs are just so chunky and they're just kicking. They're just kicking. Look at those little chunks. <laughs> this is a well fed baby, huh? Yeah. Yeah. She loves clown friend. Yeah. We'll have to take clown friend to London if you're still interested in him, huh? so cute. It's just so funny to me. <laughs> the little legs. <laughs> yeah. Can you talk? Tell clown friend all about our walk and watching brother at the park. You watched brother go down the slide, huh? And I think I heard you say, that's going to be me soon. Yeah, I think that's what I heard you say, if I'm correct. I just got both kids down to sleep, and um, I'm just picking up the apartment a little bit. We've got more people coming to look at the apartment tomorrow, so again, I'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't get too messy. Well, ha I still have to vacuum and obviously the usual wiping down tables and stuff, but I'm trying not to have to um, like really scrub. My mother-in-law is coming over today, and I'm really happy about that because I'm hoping that she can um, hang out with Callum a little bit so that I can call the relocation agency that we're using to help us relocate to London. Basically, we call and tell them whenever we want to come to London, and then within 24 hours, they will... No, excuse me. 24 hours before we arrive in London, that's when they will organize um, home tours for us. And basically, whatever's available 24 hours before our visit, that's what we have access to. And I was not aware that that was how it is, and that's how it's done, and I guess I sort of figured we'd have more of a selection than just whatever's available 24 hours before our visit. Um, yeah. And there will be no pictures sent to us beforehand. And yesterday we got an email basically asking where we wanted them to look. And it's like, hello, that's kind of your job. So I'm a little stressed out because we're moving in a few weeks. We don't have a home. We're going to the States for three weeks in just a few weeks. And I'm, I'm really overwhelmed. There's so much happening and... um. I'm really happy though that I can actually talk about this, but I just need to know where we're living. I need to know where we're living because I need to get a pediatrician, especially for Linnea because she's on a vaccination schedule. We have this questionnaire that we're supposed to fill out and I can't fill it out because I don't, I don't know. I don't know these things. If we call, for example, if we called them today, they would not start looking for a home. If we called them today and said, said we want to go visit on June 20th, they won't start looking for a home for us until June 19th. Like that's when they would start looking because they find whatever's available 24 hours before our appointment and then and then the next day we go and look and decide yes or no. I'm just really glad that I'm able to talk about this honestly because it was seriously giving me a lot of anxiety while I was pregnant. I could not Oh my gosh, I couldn't even I couldn't even eat. I was so nervous and so worried and I just kept thinking Okay, so if we're moving in two weeks, does that mean I'm, I'm giving birth in the UK or in Germany? What do we do about insurance? Oh my gosh. I do think that the timing of us moving is, is definitely for the best, but the organization of all of this is kind of driving me nuts. Callum is outside with Oma. I am playing with little Linnea. And I was able to call the relocation agency and have a nice chat with the... Um, the woman that's going to be helping us and she sounded really nice. She was really lovely It was kind of hard to be frustrated or stressed about anything because she was so lovely. I was just like Oh my gosh, I she was so friendly And so it was a really nice talk. We had a really great little conversation. Oh, oh goodness. She wants the little clown to move We had a nice talk about um, 
about some different things and she was saying things like, oh, the Jubilee line or oh, Waterloo. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I know exactly where that is. So um, she was gonna send us some information on different places to, to look for a home. And I don't think I've quite processed everything just yet. Yeah, look at you. Look at you, little girl. Little girl. <laughs> And with your bow, we don't even see that your hair is falling out. No. Girl, I think blue is your color. You look so nice in blue. Yes. Yes. You look so nice in blue. Oh my gosh. I'm just crazy about this little girl. Yay. <laughs> you ready for a diaper change? Yeah, you ready for a diaper change? Okay. <laughs> hey everybody my eyes are watering right now because it's so sunny and my eyes are so sensitive right now from my contact lenses Why are you sunglasses? I don't know I don't actually have sunglasses I need to buy some I definitely need to buy some. Oh, I didn't know there's an Aldi here. Wow. No, I didn't know either. We're just getting some stuff in preparation for our America trip coming up. It's so weird saying America trip because to me it's just going home. We, we were talking about living in different countries and one co-worker said, oh, I don't want to live in the U.S. because I've been there so many times on vacation. I think like, that's not the same thing. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe they just want to go somewhere where they've never lived. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I don't know. They could live in Iceland if they were doing adventure. <laughs> yeah. Callum's eating his dinner. Roman went to go get some water. We've got gyro meat um, and rice and tzatziki and some pita bread. My mother-in-law actually brought over the meat, so that was super helpful. And Callum is chowing down. <laughs> He's really not a meat eater, but he eats meat that's really soft like that. <laughs> He'll eat that. Mmm, yum! Good eating, bud. This might be a little TMI, but I went to the bathroom, and while I was Going to the bathroom, I was examining my belly button. I realized that I had a tick on my stomach, and I was like, mm. uh, So my hero, <laughs> I called, <laughs> I called my hero to, and I, with a pair of tweezers, and I said, "Get this out!" <laughs> and he did. I just laid down. Luckily, it was me, um, and I knew what was happening, so I wasn't like screaming. They're so nasty. They're, I hate ticks, don't you? <laughs> like what good do they serve? Like what purpose do ticks know. serve? I don't know. I just, I hate them. <sighs> I hope everything is okay, but again, I'm glad it's me and not one of my kids. Otherwise, <sighs> I'd just be really upset, but we are going to have to watch it. I'm going to have to watch it. 